Our last video we created this circle and uh, square on this work plane that hovers above the work part. But today we're going to uh, sketch onto the actual work part. Now you might need to rotate around just a little bit um, to get to where you can see just the bottom edge or just the underside of this uh, work plane to see the actual part here. You can go to Start 2D Sketch and if you have you don't want to hover over the uh, the work plane but you want to hover hover your mouse over the actual part where it turns white like that and you click then you'll need to zoom out and then probably you know zoom back in to kind of get your part going there now we're going to click on project geometry uh, actually um, before we do that let's hit F7 and then we'll click on project geometry and we're going to add uh, this line right here then we're going to create a rectangle, something like that. And we're going to um, add a vertical constraint to it. So we're going to click on this button right here. And we're going to click on the midpoint, which is that green dot. And find the midpoint of this line. And it slides over just a little bit. Then we're going to click on dimension. And we're going to click uh, this top edge of the uh, rectangle and drag up and then click again type in 10 press enter then we'll click on this side and drag over click again and type in 20 and if your um, rectangle happens to come down below this line just press escape and then you can drag, click on this box and drag it up a little bit until it's out of the way to get a little bit of a space right here. Then we're going to dimension from this bottom edge of the work part to this uh, bottom edge of this rectangle and dr uh, drag over and click again and it's going to be 2 and press enter. Uh, and that's uh, all we have there so we'll finish sketch now a couple things that we're going to have to do, uh, we're going to have to create a loft between this rectangle and this uh, bottom rectangle that we just created. And what a loft is, is it's going to basically extrude between these two and kind of blend them together. Now the problem is we don't have loft, at least I don't have loft in my uh, toolbar up here. So I'm going to right click up here in this, uh, on the toolbar and we'll go down here to customize user commands. And I'm going to scroll down, get to the L's, and find loft. Uh, there it is. It's this one right here. So I'm going to click on loft. You can double click on it, or you can click on it and hit these arrows to add over here. And then we'll hit OK. And it's not there. Hold on, let me see. It put it right here, so I'm going to drag it over. Maybe. Um, we'll make it a little larger. There we go. And there is a loft command. And uh, there's some things that we can do to kind of modify this. And we'll, we'll talk about those later. But uh, anyway, we want to do the loft command and it wants to know what we're going to add. So it says click to add. And we want to add um, this uh, rectangle that we created there. And then we also want to add this work surface or the uh, Also, want to add the back, the whole, uh, whole work piece here, and then we want to click and to add one more time, and we want to do like a number yeah, this uh, rectangle right there, and uh, I think 
Oops. That box. Okay. So now we have uh, click inside that box there until it highlights. If you need help with that, let me know. And then we'll we will uh, hit OK. Then I'll think about it for a minute. And then if I rotate around. You can see that it lofted between this rectangle and the bottom rectangle and uh, made our um, our part there. Alright, if you just did that, uh, undo that, I'm sorry, I, I told you guys wrong. We need to create our loft and we just, really we just want this rectangle here and click the add. And we just want this rectangle here. We don't want the actual work surface. So I'm sorry I told you wrong. But we just want this big rectangle. We, d we drew second and then this uh, rectangle here. And uh, hit OK. And now you can see that it created um, the loft the way we want it. We didn't want uh, all that material out here. It probably would have been OK but uh, we'll just go with this for now okay uh, so now we're going to put a hole all the way through this which is why we drew the circle and so if we right click on the loft and we say um, uh, expand oh, I'm sorry right click on that and we say uh, um, and we're going to um, right click on this sketch we we'll need to expand this loft right click on that um, sketch and click on visibility and so now we have uh, our circle there and we will hit extrude and what do we want to extrude? We want to extrude this circle but we want it to be uh, cut and the distance will be uh, to next and it'll go all the way through and we'll hit uh, OK and then we uh, should have our hole through there uh, so if you have any questions about that please uh, please so once we have that uh, we can go to this work plane here and we can turn off the visibility by unchecking that and then this first work plane that we created as well, we can right click on that and turn off its visibility. And then the sketch 8 uh, for this under the loft, we can right click on it and turn off its visibility. So now we just have our, our part here. Now we're going to um, get this thing to rotate a little bit we're going to mirror this p feature on the other side so up here on origins expand that and find a plane that looks like it goes through uh, what we want it to Let me rotate around just a little bit here and it looks like the one we want is the YZ we'll click on that and we'll right click on it and turn on its visibility so we can see it goes right through the middle it's a good uh, way to uh, mirror here so we're going to click on mirror and under features we will click on the actual part we we'll click on the fillets here click on the hole there's a, a fillet underneath that we'll click on and uh, the loft as well so the loft, the hole, the fillets, the actual sweep, the, the whole part here. Then there's a fillet underneath uh, that we uh, mirrored. And then we want to know the mirror plane. So of course it's going to be this one. And we've got a preview here and we'll hit OK. And now instead of having to go back and redraw um, those parts, we can just um, mirror it that way and save ourselves quite a bit of time. So on the YZ plane, I'm going to right click on it and turn off its visibility. And um, if you have questions about anything today, uh, just let me know.